Okay, guys, I'm just going to do a quick prediction on Adrian Broner versus Gavin Rees. Uh, starting with Adrian Broner, he is 25 wins undefeated. 21 of those wins by way of knockout. And against Gavin Rees, he is 37 wins, 18 of which by way of knockout, to a single defeat by way of stoppage, and also a draw thrown in there too. If you've lived in a cave and you don't know about Adrian Broner, he is a two-weight world champion. He is the prospective next cash cow, and he's expected to really challenge for the pound for pound title in the next few years to come, people. If you're American and you don't know about Gavin Rees or you've just been living in a cave also, you know, he is a former 140 pound world champion, current British lightweight champion, and current EBU lightweight champion, and is rated in the top three with the WBA. So before I get into this, big respect for Broner for taking a fight that he doesn't have to take. He's being active and, you know, fighting a solid contender, giving him a title shot. Respect for Reeves for taking up a big challenge, even though he's basically one fight away from a WBA 135-pound world title shot. And that would have been a much easier fight to win than this one. Uh, I'm going to say this. Broner, you know, he should win this fight by way of late stoppage. He has most of the attributes and advantages in his favour. However, don't be surprised if this is actually not a cakewalk for him. You know, one thing I will say is people are overlooking Gavin Rees. He is a very heavy underdog in this fight for a very obvious reason. Broner is very good. But sometimes when you're such a heavy favourite, there's a chance that you can look worse through winning and having a problem or two and still getting an early knockout. I'll give you an example. Uh, Sergio Martinez versus Darren Barker. Darren Barker was such a heavy underdog in a fight that was called um, The Shining of the Marvel in Spanish, so it was something the Mar Maravilla. So um, he was such a heavy underdog, the fact that he broke his nose and survived for such a long time and posed Sergio Martinez a number of questions. It took away from Sergio Martinez his victory, you understand? Another example would be last year, David Price versus Matt the Bear Skelton. Skelton posed a problem for Price in the first round by charging across the ring and actually landing a few shots in round one. Maybe one round one, it's up for debate. But then Price went and knocked him out in round two. Um, Price was such a heavy underdog that, you know, and he was past that level that people said, you know, that he was exposed in that fight. The reality is he just lost a round and, you know, a guy did, landed a few shots. But the fact that he he landed those shots when he was not expected to, took away from the victory of David Price. Stuff like that could happen in here. Let's say if, you know, Gavin Rees charges across the ring and lands some shots early. Let's say if he wobbles him in round one. You know, it, it, we cannot predict the future in, in, in all honesty. It could happen. We don't know it couldn't happen until the fight actually occurs. So, if he, uh, you know, poses a few threats to Broner before he gets stopped, you know, people might actually jump on board. And he's got a lot of haters, Broner, and say that he's been exposed in the fight. That's got, you've got to say that, you know. Uh, the next thing is, you know, as he is like a heavy underdog in this fight, you know, are people looking past, you know, Gavin Rees? You know, Broner obviously does have a few fights scheduled ahead. He's going to be fighting on the Mayweather undercard. And that could be a unification bout. It's very possible. Also, maybe a fight against a Brill or another top contender in the division. You know, if you've got your eyes fixed on, and or, or you know, at least another eye just looking ahead to a bigger payday, a bigger fight, there's a chance you can overlook your opponent. You know, I'm not saying he will do what he is doing. It just does happen. You know, and you can't obviously overlook the likes of McCloskey, Peterson, and Garcia while he had both eyes fixed on Mayweather. And when he has his eyes fixed on Mayweather in the future. He couldn't see the punches coming back from his opponents he was in the ring with then and ended up getting himself knocked out in one of those fights. It's something to think about. Also, Ortiz versus Lopez. More recently, Ortiz had his eye fixed on the Canelo fight and Lopez upset the apple cart and gave him a broken jaw for his trouble. It's something to think about because that was another one where Lopez wasn't expected to do shit and he come away with the victory, just like Reese isn't expected to do shit. And so you can't say you can't come away from the victory. Anything could happen in a boxing fight. One punch can change it. Anyone can knock anyone out. 
It just has to be the perfect shot. But I'm going to end it there and say, you know, Broner will win this fight. I think he'll win it by knockout. Middle round, rounds five or six.